Greetings aspirants, this is Mohan from Shankarai's Academy. I welcome you all to another video of frequently asked question series and this video is brought to you by Shankarai's Academy. Today I am going to address one common question prevailing among UPS aspirants. Yes, it is about NCRT reading. See many aspirants have a big question, how to read NCRT books for the UPSC examination. So, in this video, I am going to give you a clarity regarding NCRT reading. First of all, why we need to read NCRT books for the UPSC exam? See the NCRT books form the foundation for the subjects of UPSC examination. Then NCRT books are simple in language. So, it is very easy for us to understand the basic concepts clearly. Also, the content in the NCRT books are highly reliable for our UPSC exam. That is why we need to read NCRT books. Now coming to the next question, do we need to read all the NCRT books? The answer is big no, it is enough to read only the subjects that are relevant to UPSC exam. Now I am going to display the names of NCRT books along with standards and you must read those books for the UPSC exam. See the books list are displayed here and the books here are segregated into subject wise. Pass the video and make note of it. This is my personal suggestion and some of you may think many books are left out. See as per my experience, these books are more than enough to have stronghold over the basic concepts for UPSC exam. This is about books list. Now I am going to address one of the major question, how to read NCRT books for the UPSC examination. First of all, what you have to do is, you should take the printout of the syllabus of UPSC exam and while reading, always try to keep the syllabus in your hand and you have to look for the syllabus topic in that particular NCRT book. See this will help you to study the subject in precise and effective manner. Then my personal advice is study the NCRT book subject wise rather than standard wise. For example, if you start studying geography, cover the whole geography subject and then move on to the other subject. See this will help you to cover the subject holistically and this will give you utmost satisfaction. See if you are reading NCRT books for the first time you just read the book and understand the concepts. Then before proceeding to the second read, go through the previous year questions. See going through previous year questions will give you a glimpse of the questions asked in that particular topic. Then during the second read, highlight the important points using pen or highlighter and you can also take notes on the important points and this is all about reading of the NCRT books. There is also another query prevailing among UPSC aspirants. The query is, is it necessary to take notes from the NCRT books? And my answer is yes. See notes making will help you during your revisions and it will also save your time. Here my advice is try to take notes as per the topics in the syllabus. Also you have to segregate your notes as per the topics. Why you have to segregate your notes? See each subject in UPSC need different note making styles. For example, in geography notes, we need to incorporate mnemonics to remember the places. Then in history, we need to make flow chart with simple factual data. So taking notes as per the syllabus topic will help you to maintain notes according to the need. And if you feel convenient, you can also use digital notes whenever required. In overall, my tips to you is study the NCRT books along with syllabus in your hand. Then make note on the important points and do not get diverted to unnecessary topics. And that is all about this video. I hope I have addressed your need at most possible and if you find this video useful, do like, comment and share and do not forget to subscribe to Shankara A's Academy YouTube channel. With this, I am concluding this session and I will meet you in another special video. And this is Mohan from Shankara A's Academy. Thank you for listening.